You know, when I first started like getting pregnant and stuff, I just thought it's going to take such a long time for the baby to arrive. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly, soon, like really soon, and my whole life is going to change. Today's Guide to Life is about having a baby and it will be the final installment of it because today, just in about 2 hours time, I'm going to be actually having my baby and right now I am sort of uh, resting in my Mount Elizabeth Daffodil Suite and it's so cool because they actually gave me this like very very huge suite la. the biggest one in the hospital and it's super luxurious with a big sitting area and stuff so you know my friends and family can come visit yeah I guess the last time round you know, like a to life had such a big moment was maybe, you know, my wedding day and I would say that like I'm feeling about the same amount of happiness right now and I'm just so glad everybody is very excited together with me as well. So yeah, it's cool. I'm excited, a little nervous, uh, less nervous than I was last night, but uh, still a little bit, mostly excited. Um, last night I'm really you had curious. A, like, a panic attack. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, um, I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> be a dad. Yeah. I hope that the baby looks like him la, because I think he's very cute and I don't think that a man who looks like me will look good because maybe it will look like mm, my brother or something or my dad which is weird, I don't want to look like him. <laughs> Yeah, in case you're wondering how come like I can do makeup and stuff like normally like people give birth that really look very stressful and like you know like sweaty and stuff right no because I chose a uh, elective C-section so which means I got all the time in the world to get ready and Dr. Law told me that I am okay to put makeup so actually I asked him ah, like can I put makeup before the surgery and he said why not like he gave me a really like why not face so that's great, he's great. <laughs> I love him. Okay, so this is the notice board at Mao Yi. And uh, when I was given the tour here, they actually directed me to see this photo of uh, Zoe Tay and her husband and her, her kid. La. Then I feel like she actually put in quite a lot of effort on what to wear because she's like wearing like all black with like a what looks like a Hermes scarf. So I just thought very long and hard about what to wear because just in case they put my photo next to hers, I cannot tell Lian, you know. So yeah. <laughs> So I must be like trendy, good looking mom also. Yeah, see? I even dyed my hair and like, you know, curled it. She even a cap, eh? She's cheating. <laughs> I'm talking to Mike's family now on Skype, so with his two brothers and his mom. It's Sunday here, so you will be born an Easter bunny. I was telling Mike we should dress him up as a bunny when he comes out. <laughs> <laughs> we just want a healthy baby. And I will spoil him, for sure. And I don't care what Wendy and Mike will say. I don't care. I was I will do I will give him all the attention. Sorry Wendy, no more. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm in my hospital gown. Um, that's all I've been told so far. It's everything is very overwhelming, so I'm just gonna listen to the nurses tell me one step at a time what to do. Seems to be Yeah. <laughs> no ribbon for you. No ribbon. What's the point? I'm going in now. I have to put a cap. Yes. <laughs> What's the point of me calling my hair? <laughs> <laughs> so you you call it yes for this one. Really? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so girls next time don't bother curling your hair. Bye bye. FYI. Bye bye. Yeah. No point for my ribbon. I have to wear this stupid thing! Just changed into my scrubs, so all ready to go into the operating theater and witness them cut my wife open and take my baby out. So, uh, yeah, excited. Yeah, it's really hard. I told you you should get the last thing you have to I did. I, I breathed in so much of it. Then at first I was like, this has no effect, this is stupid. And then yeah. after that I was like, oh my god. I think I'll be rambling non-stop right now. We have already started, yeah. Okay? Already started. Wow. Don't worry, yeah? Fine. How do you know that you don't cut too deep in and like slice the baby? Uh, I have many, many years of experience. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Which is why. <laughs> this is great. Chowbomb is easy. Chowbomb is a piece of cake. Am I shouting? I'm shouting. Yes, you are. Sorry. You're a bit drunk, right? Yeah, I'm very drunk. I'm very high.
boy and girl? Boy, yeah? Oh, the baby, it was like so easy, I didn't do anything, somebody pushed it and then it was out and it looked so hopeful and full of blood and stuff but not as gross as I thought it would be. You got a boy, he looks good, he looks healthy. Okay, congratulations baby, we'll contact you in the moment, everything looks good. Bye. Bye. Oh my god, you're so cute. Kicking me for so long. Oh, you're upset. Oh, you feel so nice and soft. Oh, you got daddy's button nose. Hi, I'm your mommy. I can't believe you had him with me. I'm great. I produced the baby, and he's so cute. It's kind of hard to explain. I, I feel, you know, like instantly close to to my kid. I guess. So. I'm wondering if I'm doing this right. You know, <laughs> kind of windy. It feels right. They're uh, done putting uh, Wendy back together, and so we're gonna take the baby up and see her in a moment. So I'm pretty excited to see how how she reacts when her she gets her baby back. Very chubby and uh, very healthy baby. Oh, I'm just I'm here. Cry. So you stand up together. Oh, I'm very proud of my best friend. Oh, and the baby is so cute. I'm very happy for Wendy and the baby is very cute. How can you be so cute? Hey Wendy! Congratulations! Baby is very cute! And big eyes and chubby legs. Oh, the nose are high. So the childbirth itself was very easy. And then once it's out, it's like, it's going to be painful. It's not really painful, but just very, very like, weird. Like menstrual cramp like this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy that everybody thinks that he's very cute. He's single round face. He got your favorite parts of me. Really, yeah? <laughs> like oh my, my gosh. So cute. Like the eyebrows that are like, droopy. Yeah, droopy eyebrows. Like, like, yeah. The kind eyebrows. So you can't do wrong even if you're a murderer, everybody thinks that you're a nice person. <laughs> really well behaved too, he hardly cried at all. So far, maybe he's on drugs too, because of... Oh, there it is. He wants to prove it. Okay, so I guess we've come to the end of the episode, and I'm feeling very, very goggy, so I think I'm going to go sleep now. And yeah, it's very weird lah, I'm a mother now. I'm feeling very happy, but at the same time, I'm also very dropped up. So yeah, this feels weird. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait for you guys to see him in new videos next time. Bye!